that's a good way to start things off. Yeah. They were incredible. That's right, Portland, Maine, now Portland, Oregon. Today's vlog is gonna be a little different because we hear the thing to do here is pretty much eat and drink craft beer. And guess what? We're professionals at that, so let's get started. By the way, for all you newcomers to the channel, my name is Anna and this is Trevor. Guys, thanks for stopping by and checking out our channel. Let us know what you think. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button. That really helps us out. And leave us a comment. We love comments. Everybody has told us we have to go to this place called Duck Fat, which is next door, and there's a really long lineup. Yeah, so now we're at a place called East Ender, right next door, and we have this little buzzer, and we're waiting to get called. So while we wait, we got two Allagash white beers from Maine. Cheers. Cheers. Getting the day started off right. Because we're doing a bit of a food crawl, we're gonna try not to overeat. Yeah, we're gonna share some things. Yeah. Okay, so what we're looking at right now, I think we're gonna do a small fries because everybody says the fries are incredible. We might get a turkey sandwich and share that. The famous duck fat fries have showed up. Anna's gonna do the honors and we're gonna test the dips out. This is the Thai chili, I believe. You got one more. Mm -hmm. You have to test the next one. That one, I'd say it's moderately spicy. Not too bad. This is horseradish, I believe. Can you pick a favorite? Maybe slightly the Thai chili. Turkey sandwich has showed up. I'm gonna test this one. Or so, Anna's, Anna's beating me already. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh my god. The flavors in this are incredible. Some turkey, cheese, lettuce, like a garlic, mayo, a little bit of a kick. Bread is nice and crispy. Solid. Alright, guys, so that was the famous. Duck that restaurant. Again, if you're coming to Portland and you ask for a recommendation, everybody is gonna tell you to go to that place. It's probably gonna be the first place to tell you to go to. It passed the test with flying colors. On to the next place. All right, guys, we came to Rising Thai. We got our beer. What do we get? Well, we're not actually sure which one is which, but we got an APA, we got a Gose, we got a Belgian table beer, and a Pilsner. I'm sure they're all gonna be really good. Yes. Anna's trying to figure out which one this is because we don't have labels. So it, it, it's kind of sour, but it also has like a wheat finish. Let me try. Oh, it's, yeah, it's definitely a Gose. You think so? You know, we sound like professional beer drinkers. Yeah. You have to work really hard to get like this, folks. Anna just said this is the Belgian table beer. I'm gonna try it. There's no way we're ever gonna know, so just trust us. It is definitely a Belgian beer. I don't know how to describe why I know that. What is it a Belgian beer that makes it? It's almost like an orangey, fruity flavor. It's usually a little thicker. It goes down pretty easy. Okay, the Pilsner and an APA, if we're, if we're right. I feel like that's gonna be really hard to tell. A Pilsner is one of those beer that's just the easy drinking beer that anyone could have. That might be the APA. I don't know. And why do you think it's an American Pale Ale? It has that slight hoppiness to it. Oh. Yes, it, I just took a drink. So yes, it is totally the APA. This one looks like a Pilsner. By default, it kind of has to be. If we're correct. Oh, we're correct. <laughs> I don't know the taste yeah, of a I Pilsner. Yeah, I could say this could be an APA. <laughs> Uh-oh. How will we ever know? So this place is located in the East End slash East Bayside area of Portland, and it took us about 15 minutes from the old port to walk here.
So we've just made our way to Liquid Riot and we got a, another flight. It really is the best way to sample all these incredible main craft beers. I'm curious how it's going to stack up against the last place. Really good beer. I think my favorite is the strawberry cream. It's kind of like candy. Okay, we just got done of Liquid Riot. I have to give the nod to Rising Tide. Definitely, me too. Hands down, actually. We have to head back to our hotel now, though. So we gotta go back and charge some batteries, catch up on a little bit of work, and we really, really wanna show you the lounge at our hotel. If you're wondering where we are right now, we're at the Westin Harbor View Hotel. It's awesome. It, I would say, is the highest point in the city core because the views up here where we're at are stunning. Okay, we're just leaving the Westin. It is beautiful out right now. Sun's going down, it's warm as can be. It's like seven o'clock at night. Perfect day in Portland. <laughs> You definitely don't see that in every city. No, and so far in Portland, we've seen like a lot of performing musicians and dancing. Yeah. Anna's trying to find where we're going on the map. The map <laughs> we're looking for central provisions. We think it's around here somewhere. We're just not sure where. <laughs> she says she's got to figure it figured out. If we don't find this place, I'm going to blame you. You always blame me. It's entirely your fault. What are you saying? I don't blame you. Well, that's your fault if you think I blame you. <laughs> This is a really cool street. We got some pickles to keep things kind of light. There's some onions, there's some cucumbers in there. Remember, we're moving on to the next place. So delicious. That place was very hyped up and totally worth it. Just because we're right next to it, we're gonna try to get some tater tots from the Blue Rooster. So we had a lot of recommendations to come here and try the tater tots. So we're just gonna get like a small version because we're gonna eat some more food. Yeah. Food tour continues. That was delicious. Yeah, probably a great lunch spot. Great lunch spot. There was like falafels, sandwiches, all that stuff. Hot dogs. <laughs> that was like really unhealthy though. We just got tater tots, but uh, we did run today. But we ate vegetables before that, so we're good. Right, vegetables good. and like a good six or seven K run. Now we're going to eat some more food, believe it or not. Okay, we just got to Taco Escobar, got some micheladas because we are big fans. We love micheladas. It reminds us of Mexico. So because we've been eating a lot today, I got a salad, but it looks delicious. It's got like arugula, avocado, some chicken, some tortilla chips. It's good. Because I've been eating a lot today, I got some cheesy enchiladas with chicken. Why not? Go big or go home. So mine is delicious. I'm sure lots of you had enchiladas before, but I have chicken in there, some cheese on top, cilantro what is what always makes it so good, tomatoes, perfect. So that was Taco Escobar, and that place is another must-go-to spot. Really what we've shown you today is the tip of the iceberg of what Portland has to offer in terms of food. So if we didn't show it to you, it doesn't mean it's not good, it just means we didn't get to it. It's a small city, and I am shocked with how many restaurants and places to have a beer or places to have a snack are crammed into one place, and they all are exceptional. Yeah, I feel like you spend weeks here and just eat somewhere different every night. Easily. All right, guys, that's it. From Portland, Maine, wishing you delightful travels. We'll see you soon.
is your least favorite thing about Portland? The walkways. 